In 1915, an Allied army invades Turkey. It is the battle at Gallipoli. These rugged slopes create a legend. Anzac Day. That day, as the story goes, the British sent the Australians to the wrong beach, to a beach they knew nothing about, for a murderous slaughter in the dawn. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth. I've come on a journey to Gallipoli to find out what really happened that day. My career was in military intelligence, and it was a map that started my journey. This map. This map challenged everything I knew about the Anzac landing. I thought they landed without knowing anything about the landing beaches. But look, this map is dated April 20, 1915. And here are hand-drawn details of enemy defences. An Anzac intelligence officer, someone like me, knew all of these details five days before the landing. I wanted to find the story of how they knew all of this. I found a story of covert intelligence operations, spies, and the use of cutting-edge technology. The world's first aircraft carrier was at Gallipoli. Aeroplanes detailed the Turkish defences. The boats will land about one mile north of Cape Tepe. Australians planned their own landing. They did things differently to the British. It wasn't at dawn, and it wasn't a bloodbath. It was imaginative, it was bold, and it worked. The story is different from what we've been led to believe. It's a story that will change the way you think about Anzac Day.